if you look at the job descriptions within linkedin and naukri you will go mad there is a lot of new things that are coming up and we are unable to process those technologies if you are like me a data scientist and any other role you're looking at jds and trying to apply for them and you don't even recognize some of the new technologies that are coming up then i feel your pain it's completely frustrating to see things that we have done in the past not be relevant in the job that you are applying for and uh, it can get very tricky because technology is advancing in a very rapid pace however this video we are going to uncover uh, the secrets of breaking down jds and preparing for interviews in a way that you are going to sound very very confident in the interviews now what video i'm going to uh, share after this is going to be a part of the 3 day workshop that i do and it's called the unconventional workshop uh, i put this part out because there was a lot of demand for this particular kind of work and it has gotten a lot of traction and helped a lot many people become more confident during interviews so i bring that portion the interview preparation part of it to you and uh, so that you get that unfair advantage in terms of handling interviews for any kind of job descriptions that you get in the market currently now this will start uh, in a in a place where i explain the entire concept and then i take you through an entire walk through of how you can prepare well now this is a long video uh, hopefully you want to watch it to the entire end and in the comment section uh, below i want you to mention all the questions doubts you may have regarding the preparation so although i've tried to cover as much detailed as possible i still may have missed something so i want you to basically go in the comment section and mention some of the details uh, that you think could be added to ensure that you're getting ahead in interviews and not feeling scared to go and apply for all the job descriptions that seem unfamiliar so on to the video as soon as we start getting the jds like this right our next tech moves immediately the actionable step right there are two kinds of people in the world okay yeah? let me just say there are two kinds of people in the world the one that read theory and forget it okay and the one that read jd and prepare according to that to interview which one do you want to be option number 1 or option number 2 option number 2 so we are going to be the second kind which is जो जो जेडी में है वही है वे वो नो ओनली प्रिपेयर फॉर दैट ओके बट 50 टू 20 ऑफ 20 ऑफ दैट ट्रस्ट मी गाइस यू विल एंजॉय द इंटरव्यू यू विल लिटरली प्ले विद द इंटरव्यू बिकॉज़ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग एज पर द इंटरव्यू फॉर बट फॉर दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डू इट गॉट इट कूल सो लेट्स लुक एट लेट्स ओपन चैट जीपीटी एंड यू कैन ओपन एनी वर्जन आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट विद द with the 40 oh, i think so 40 oh is rolled out to everybody to a limited edition so i'm just going to put it on 40 oh, okay and this is what we are going to do guys okay i'm going to hide this i'm going to expand this and we did this but now we are going to do hands on so guys please do this with me if you do this you will have unfair advantage in the job market i'm telling you the biggest advantage you'll have is doing this exercise with me the research is your foundations this is your preparation if this not done well then again you'll be in the same place you are from whichever months you are in if you have started right now you have you've gotten the bigger advantage here to prepare for this right i have validated this i'll tell you how i have validated this idea i validated this idea with corporate trainings i validated this idea with hiring managers i validated this idea with talent acquisition managers validated the idea with existing peers who are already doing or working in this roles right i validated this idea with other career coaches also so it has gone through various number of validations before it comes to this particular stage guys so i want you to understand if you are not doing this right now you will lose out in the race everybody says na ai will if the person using ai will get replaced as a by person who is not using this is what they mean and you will see this concept is mind blowing now what we are going to do is we are going to go here right now and for this particular version 
right you're going to just simply cite say i am going to provide just use this exactly provide few jds for me to prepare for interviews okay and just before this i'll give you this entire line imagine you are an expert in interview preparation and i'm going to go, go a few jds for this particular uh, for jds for me to prepare for interviews i'm going to capture this copy it and i'm going to put a it in a word file so that you have it i have a track of it okay so i'm going to put this okay i'm going to give you this sentence uh, and sorry one more line you have to add to this please acknowledge please acknowledge that's all okay so this is what you're going to do okay put that now i want to go back to the word paste this and ensure you have this updated jd okay and then step 2 paste jd in chunks okay now you, you i have a better bigger context window but once you do this okay what you do is go go back to the jd and first things first you're going to add the responsibility sections to this right so this portion is most important but for that you can add the other context also so you're going to take this and this copy this portion first and just paste it here then you're going to do copy this and then you put this and say enter okay so right now you do this as you get more advanced you're going to add multiple jds also to this got it guys now we come here once we understand this what you are going to do is that we are going to divide the interview sections first of all into two parts one is the technical skills right technical skills more in demand skills so just write this can you categorize the skill keywords based on these categories in demand skills now we are trying to identify because in demand skills for everybody is going to be different which is why this is customized right in demand skills technical skills soft skills right managerial skills and any other okay i'm going to copy this and push paste it Okay, so let me do that. Let me put the enter and see if it is working.
Okay, I'm going to change that. So the keywords in comma separated keywords. Once again, guys, let me just perfect this one. I'll give it to you. Oh, this is much better. This is easy to copy paste into your resume then. <laughs> so that's why you're able to do it like this. Okay. So yeah, take this. Tell me guys, it has put all the skills into this by any chance, right? This skills match your current role. You'll see it's very far off, which is why we start with this. And then we build a case around this. Okay. So that's going to be our second prompt. Okay. Cool. Now we got all of this. I can simply copy this and, sh you know, step three response. I'm going to save it here and ensure it's available. Okay, so it's available like this. And I'm going to go back here. Okay, how many of you are able to do this? Okay. I'm waiting for everybody. I'm going to take everybody's name here. Okay. Dinesh, Gagandeep, Kursimran, Harish, Harsh, Karthik, Karthik Naga, Megha, Nitesh, Saket, Smuti, Shravanti, Sudipta, Sumit, Vikrant, Viplava, Vishrut, Yash. Very nice. Thank you. Done. Perfect. Cool. Now you got the in-demand skills, you see, now in-demand skills are the ones which is consultative account program management experience, business intelligence, analytics, data visualization, operational recommendation, kind of the semantic modeling, data solutions. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Harish, no problem. No problem. We'll have the recording. So if any challenges you're facing, you'll have the recording guys. So ensure go through that so that tomorrow you're fully prepared. Okay, cool. Now, how many of you are seeing that in demand skills? This is like the first go to preparation that you need to do. So you need to understand what is consultative account or program management experience, whatever that means right now. Shavanti, you know, you're seeing these terms. What does it mean? I also don't know. <laughs> Just put the word like this. I don't yeah. 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 So what, how I need to know in this, how on earth do we know this guys? Like what does this word means? How on earth will we find it? Like unless you speak to the person, right? You will never ever to come out to know what this consultative account slash pro first, first of all, program management was one experience that I know. Account management was another experience that I know. Consultated consultations were another experience. These are three different, you know, things he has put into one shot. What we are going to do right now, we are going to ask chat GPT, right? For the, uh, and this is what you're going to do, right? You're going to call this as now what you're going to say is for each of the skill, for each of the skills in the step, in the step, uh, Kind of, let me just demark these steps. Okay, I'm going to put step four here. Four. Right now, for each skill, 
interview preparation before you do anything first interview preparation you need to do because you need to be able to know whether or not you're going to do that role or not. and if you don't know then you can choose and change at this particular time itself you have time to change but do not go ahead without this particular part of it now how do we do interview preparation at the first level at one trick is going to be called as day to day activity this is what we should be knowing yes or no guys forget about the optics and the words and all. day to day what i am doing it should be there i can say you know i am a i am a data scientist and all that kind of a thing but day to day i may be building dashboards day to day i may be manually entering data into the table and <laughs> putting it i don't know i'm just saying that day to day what it what this particular thing okay so what you are going to do here is that for this in now for the in demand skills help me understand what i need to do on a day to day basis and what my stakeholders would find it extremely valuable yes okay so we don't know what the future holds but at least we will be able to know what this particular thing does so i'm going to say that put that here okay so now oh, oh god look at this <laughs> look at this a day to day activity see com consultative account management and program program management experience conduct regular meetings with client to discuss their needs and progress develop and manage project plans timeline deliverables coordinate with internal team to ensure client and requirements are met is this something real or rocket science guys same thing word is word is changed those who are into program management the, you know you are going to be more in meetings absolutely we know that now it's about ki how do you and put this into the profile and ensure that you you put this into front left right center make sense guys and if you are now seeing that the jd is there right it's actually a lot of things that you typically do but the wordings change kar diya hai optics changed right the emphasis on on that particular point of it so continuing regular meetings these are like our day to day activity what is stakeholder value clients will appreciate proactive communication and timely updates so what you will mention in your resume proactive communication timely updates if you put this as a skill right and you demonstrate this idea by a story then you will win in the interview ensure project stay on track meeting deadlines and expectations very 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 simple stuff here guys we make so much complicated it's actually just being proactive about ensuring that you're communicating 100 times to everybody and ensuring that if the project plan has been made you're sticking to it this is what it is do you like do you require a lot of experience you don't need to go to an mba degree or any place you need a perfect one tool where you can manage all this and you can remember this that's all which is why documenting everything that you do on a regular basis will become very very valuable for the business how many of you see this how many of you understand this how many of you understand this your entire interview plan is just here guys okay perfect how many of you are able to get this detailed plan like this if you do 15 20 interviews for jds full preparation as per the jds or no 
like a new year hack <laughs> absolutely okay so what stakeholder values what stakeholder values if you are doing this guys you will do that now look at this next part yes vocabulary they want to put the vocabularies in words right based on that it's very coarse and project hai how to execute that project effectively and put everybody in the same page simple okay new technologies will keep coming if you understand the technology and the domain you will be able to better function that's it cool now the second part business intelligence business intelligence will change it this is your key to promotion key to become a leader key to become a lead, uh, team leader key to differentiate yourself from any any damn body those who do business intelligence more whether you are in tech role or non tech role if you do business intelligence you will thrive in the role you will thrive and say promote very fast how many of you have one team member in your in your team who only relays information from here the kaam kuch nahi karta bas wo 10 members he will collect the information and he will go and relay to seniors how many of you have seen this specific person in your company and you will be like how is this guy surviving how is this guy surviving how many of you have that kind of person if you are able to just talk with people unse information liya usko summarize kiya and you give it to your stakeholders right you will be the person that will be this thing this is a is the, this is what business intelligence is but if you do it a little bit smart and polished way like consultants do it you will be even much more smarter you will not chaprosi nahi lagega okay you, you will feel as if you are a very sophisticated guy and a leader how through business intelligence everybody today requires business intelligence gartner report has said it harvard business review has said it all researchers and companies are seeing it companies up down are re relying on this thing data analytics or business analytics has become bread and butter for the company for you to survive you are in tech role non tech role tell me any role i will be able to tell you that you need to have this uh, this part of it this is your key to promotion also how analyze data to provide action and message for business decisions we already do this guys trust me create and maintain bi dashboards we have to do this monitor key performance indicators kpis and metrics this is going to become critical 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 even if you are doing advanced ai ml whatever you are doing if you don't know how to do this you will not thrive in that role but if you are able to do this you will get promoted very very quickly because people want to know ki mera kpi kya hai and how am i contributing that to kpi simple they don't want to know whether or not you can do the best program management they don't want to know the best programmer they don't want to know whether they are best ai ml expert they don't want to know whether they are your ml expert they want to know if what work you are doing is moving their kpis if your sales is increasing then they want to understand because of your work it is improving if hr uh, if people are not attracting my mine is attrition model if more people are not leaving then i am doing my god job well which means my work is valid you got it like that and kpis you don't need to be a magic understanding you need to just understand what your stakeholders value and you have to speak their language that's it it will value data driven insight that improve decision making helps in identifying trends and opportunities for business growth if you can do this on a very regular basis this is your key to promotion guys this is your key to demanding more salary this is the key to you say i have come to my business i joined this company this company was generating on an average 5 million dollars revenue when i came in the company is now doing 6 million revenues because of my work is it not easy to understand guys yes or no to quantify the value and immediately they will say okay bhai how did you make it from 5 to 6 million what work did you do now they want the answer to that question got it so that's what the business intelligence is then you have analytics okay perform which is the analytical stakeholders understand the data visualization right you will see operation recognition current operation identify areas of improvement improvement uh, process efficiencies and all that cost savings and all that this this one is where i got a lot of value that is why i say automate more work less earn more 
if you are able to get a uh, ops uh, improve processes okay customized topic and semantic modeling stakeholder value data solutions right key stakeholders uh, all of this kind of a thing this plan is enough it is take half a day to understand all of this i'm not going to go more into too deep but have you all gotten the right preparation mindset guys day to day activities and how you identified by each particular skill guys and you do this for all the skill sets and you do this for 10 15 jds right how much interview preparation and advantage you'll have in the interview guys yes or no guys how many of you are seeing this if i were you i would spend most my time just understanding this entire jd like this and then later on converting everything to a story okay how look at this now for each skill make up a story to show that i have done this work keep it short it short and crisp story template also done guys now you don't have to say ki i did this this is this you will say for example in my previous company whether you did it or not that is another story but in my previous story company i have done this here is my story okay here's how it look in my previous can i manage project for clients who needed to optimize their customer service operations i coordinate weekly meetings to gather requirements provide updates my developing the detailed plan and closely working with the internal team we delivered a comprehensive solution on time client was impressed with a proactive communication and project success leading to long term partnership now what we'll do for each story provide fictitious appreciation mail by stakeholder and then and then this is the proof like what the customer said kind of a thing guys okay so that's what we'll be doing so first is day to day activities then story and then last but not the least provide story uh for each story provide a fictitious appreciation mail so now you got a, a appreciation mail what client has recommended okay you see this right and you get to this so you have now what okay so now you have what a fictitious way of generating the story showing that you did the work and a fictitious way of client giving you the feedback and now you have the well rounded way of as if you have done this particular work so this is all we need to do for a several different different roles to be able to get to this point guys make sense okay guys so this is how you prepare for interviews using a jd and you can do this all day and prepare for interviews really really fast so uh, i've now given you a lot of things to work on and i also showed you some hacks to go out of the way to create experiences fictitious experiences that you can experience in the interview now although i don't recommend that you uh, go all out in doing this but i want you to find portions of work that you really did and just replace replace or change the narrative or the tool around it and be able to uh, be confident on in the interviews about using that tool now look the reality is this guys right um, you're not going to have the experience of new tools uh, met somewhere in the career right okay now you can do a certifications but how many certifications will you really take to sort of get a topic right now so which is why i recommend that you go enough preparation uh, on the tools and be able to do the job the task well the the task at hand if you're able to do that everything else will fall into place but if you're not able to perform then even going in interview with this preparation method will not work out for you in the long term so i want you to do take this as a challenge to basically pick it up but not a, be very sure about how you can execute and get the work done that's only the criteria that i recommend guys so use this information 
uh, cautiously and uh, you know you'll have a lot of power working on jds and be very confident in interviews let me know what you think guys and also if i miss something if you want to have any other question mention that in the comment section and i'll be i'll be doing my best to answer all of that thank you and i'll see you in another video on the interview preparation or job search or upskilling see you in the next one